breaking news, the New York Knicks finally have their big free agent signing. And no, it is not Kevin Durant. He is headed to the Brooklyn Nets. But it is, in fact, Julius Randle. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video. Talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about this signing as Julius Randle has now agreed to a three-year deal with the New York Knicks. And I'm going to get into the specifics of the signing, how much the deal is worth, whether or not it's a good signing or not for the Knicks. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I post daily videos, a lot of NBA content, especially with free agency starting up now. Uh, a lot of content on this channel, so you don't want to miss out. Turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell icon down below so you're notified every time I post a video. And go ahead and follow me on my Twitter, my Instagram. You can reach out to me on there, ask questions, tweet at me, and let's talk and let's debate. With that being said, I want to talk about this signing. The New York Knicks sign power forward Julius Randle. Was it a good signing or bad? Let's talk about it. Let's get right into it right now. So as I do with every signing, let's talk about the deal itself. Full details. It's a three-year deal worth about $63 million. Okay, that is right. $63 million for Julius Randle. That's about, what, $21 million a year for him. And again, when you think about it surface level, it's a lot of money. But Julius Randle, remember... Feels like he's been in the league for a while. He's only 24 years old. So that you have there for uh, the Knicks if you're a Knicks fan. But of course, uh, going from Kevin Durant to Julius Randle is a huge, huge drop off. But let me just start off by putting KD aside and putting aside Kyrie and these other big names that just talked about Julius Randle in a vacuum. Okay, and talk about whether or not it's a good signing. And here's where I'm at with it. I love it. I love this signing for the New York Knicks, and I know Knicks fans, you guys are surprised you want to hear this, Fives, or you're just you know, trying to make us feel better when we lost out on KD and Kyrie. Folks, listen, I'm telling you, take a step back, breathe. Let's think and through this, okay? This is actually a good signing. Now, for other teams that, you know, he was rumored to, like he was rumored to, to you know, be signing with the Bulls, I wouldn't have liked that because I didn't like the price that the Bulls would have looked at him, and we've got Laurie Markkinen at his position. But for the New York Knicks, who really didn't have anybody at his position and kind of had a gaping hole there, he is perfect because of what you can surround himself with, okay? Here's the thing with the New York Knicks. If you are not going to get Kevin Durant, you're not going to throw your money at guys that you can't develop, okay? So, Boogie Cousins? No. This is way better than that, okay? I'll take Julius Randle... 10 times out of 10, 11 times out of 10 over DeMarcus Cousins on every single day that starts, that ends with a Y. I'll take him twice on Sundays. Whatever it is, I will take a guy like a Julius Randle over someone like that. So point being is, you already messed up by trading Kristaps Porzingis for cap space. Let's try and sign a guy who's at least going to be a good player. Um, and he's young, okay? So I like the fact that Julius Randle, again, last year, he had a very good year, 21.4 points, about 8.7 rebounds. Really showed up and showed out with the Pelicans. Offensively, he can score down low. He can hit a little bit of jumper and mid-range. He's a beast on the boards, offensive and defensive rebounding. Now, is he a bit of a black hole on offense? Sure, you can maybe say that, but I do believe, again, he's only 24, he can develop, and on the defensive end, he does need some improvement there. But here's the thing with the Knicks, that's all they have, you can give them the time of the day. So let's take a look at the board here, and let's take a look at this roster. Again, I addressed the, the three-year, $63 million signing, $21 million a year. It feels a, a, like a bit of an overpay, but sometimes you have to do so, and the only reason I'm okay with this and this is, is because of the fact that he's only 24 years old, okay? And again, I talked about his numbers, but this is what I want you guys to focus on. Nick fans, let's pay attention here. Look at this starting lineup. You got Dennis Smith Jr. at the point, RJ Barrett, who just drafted with the third overall pick, starting at the two, Kevin Knox at the three, Randall at the four, and Mitchell Robinson at the five. That's a young, nice nucleus. All these guys can build, develop, and, and do well. You can see you know who's really gonna be that franchise guy you know uh and who can develop into what the Knicks can be this roster this starting lineup it's not bad it's really not I know I know you guys might think you know oh, like oh my god you're trying to make us feel better but honestly I don't mind the starting lineup at all so again I like this deal for the New York Knicks I really do uh, now I heard that they didn't offer Kevin Durant the max which is very very um you know laughable to me uh, it does show that the Knicks you know, obviously, are the Knicks at the end? They're, they're inept, but for the most part, uh, they might get flat for this signing. But I don't think they should because, again, he addresses the need. He's young. 
You can develop him. He's a good player. And he fits into what you're really doing. And that's that's the biggest takeaway here. Because you had guys like, what, Lance Thomas? You know, you had guys, you know, that were just awful taking up space. I mean, Noah Vonley. These are, these are not even, you know, guys that you can build around long term. They're just, you know, end of the bench type pieces. Uh, so I do think Julius Randle is going to help them right away. And I do think there's a future here. You've got building blocks with Mitchell Robinson, with R.J. Barrett, with Kevin Knox, with Julius Randle, and even Dennis Smith Jr., who's still very, very young. So maybe I'm in the minority here, but I like this signing for the New York Knicks. I'm giving this signing a solid A-. minus. Let me know what you guys think. I like this signing for the New York Knicks. This is where I'm at with it. Leave a comment down below if you agree with the street. Knicks fans, I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about this signing? Let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.